Okay, here's uh, another bridge tree, bridge caster. Um, <clears throat> this one's got some slightly different features to what I would normally do. For example, it's got string through tuners on it rather than the vintage style split post, which I prefer, but a lot of people don't. Um, it's got some lovely Oil City pickups in it uh, from uh, down in Essex. Uh, got a really nice twangy sound, um, nice full sound on the, on the neck pickup. I'll show you them in a moment. Uh, I've also uh, done a five-way uh, electrics on this one, five-way switching. So we've got normal tele sounds on three, four, and five. So three being the bridge, four being these two in parallel, and five being this one on its own. Position one is the neck pickup, but with a capacitor in a 0.001, I think, because it just gives it a little bit more brightness. Uh, I find that usually I find tele top pickups, uh, neck pickups a little bit dull, but uh, this one isn't because I've got that in. You can have a slightly more dull sound if you want as well. And then I've got uh, in position two, I've got it wired in series, which is a bit like having a very wide humbucker in place. Okay. So I'll, I'll talk you through some of those sounds in a moment. We'll start with the, the basic telly sounds. So this is your, your normal telly bridge sound, Oil City Pickle. And through a Fender Bass Breaker 15, which is EL84 uh, output valves. And uh, yeah, I've just got a switch of reverb on there at the moment, which uh, just. <laughs> Just here, there. That's all the effects are. It's just slightly, uh, slightly gained up. So if you just knock it back a little bit. So that's like the the normal bridge position on a telly. Then you've got your normal in parallel. Sound. See if you can tell the difference. This is with the capacitor in on position one. Same pickup though. To me, that's a bit brighter. I'll just show you the difference. Original. And then we've got the two in series rather than parallel. Just to compare and contrast, this is in parallel. That's a bit cleaner. Um, the other one's a little bit more driven. Telecaster uh, T-style with a custom cool etch, um, etched nickel plate on it, which is a bit of a beauty in itself. And uh, Oil City pickups, top of the range, custom 
little pickups, um, nice hardware, just a, actually it's just a great guitar, it's a great guitar for a recording as well. <laughs> striking as some of the other ones. There's uh, the old wood one and here's old Pinky which is another one for you. Which uh, has got some lovely uh, custom cut, custom cool edge uh, plates on it in aluminium this time and my uh, I think that's a, I think that's a, um, oh yeah I know that's a bare knuckles, uh, it's a bare knuckles on the bridge which is a really cracking thing. Uh, if I get a chance I'll maybe plug that one in and uh, Give it a quick twang for you while I'm on. Two ticks. Obviously, if you put the mute on there, I'm done it. So, this one's uh, very recently been finished. I haven't checked whether it's in tune yet. Um, so, that'll be fun. And uh, for those of you that like it, a bit of aging, I don't know whether you can pick that up on the camera. Bit of aging there, lovely plate, slightly different con you know, knobs and controls and things, and nice uh, aging on the back as well. Um, it's a lovely, it's a lovely body. It's a um, shell pink uh, with a, with a bare knuckles in it, as I was saying. Oh, it's in tune. Doesn't sound like it is, but we'll soon find out. Maybe close enough for jazz. Bridge Street Guitars Bridge Casters for you. <laughs> 